He struck, he followed that like a muskie and struck that thing. How about that? When you're fishing these black bottom bays, you just never know what's gonna happen. And there could be a muskie up in here too. Yeah. And we have this on hooky right over the side of the boat here. Get back at it, since you were so cooperative. Yes, you were. So when you're fishing these swim jigs too, you, 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 most swim jigs are light. Of course, they're built almost like a spinnerbait head, so they, you know, they have a tendency to plane in themselves. But my theory is most swim bait fishermen fish with too light of a jig. I tend to fish with the heavier grades, the three eighths, the half ounce sizes, because number one, they cast better, especially in the wind, and it's a better drop bait. So when you do want to drop it, that you know, it, it isn't always about just swimming it in, cranking it in. And that's been one of the mis mistakes or the misnomers about swim jigs is that all you do is throw them out and crank them in. And while that works, and that just caught that fish right here, the heavier swim jig enables you to swim it and then you see a, a, a nice piece of cover, you can just kill it and just let it drop in there. And because of the speed of the, the heavy weight, it'll create a nice drop. Uh, and if you've got some kind of a wobbly, you know, a, a twister tail or a paddle tail on, you're going to get more action out of it, you know, especially when it drops. If it's, if it's too light, it's just going to kind of hover there and it's going to fight the drop on you. A heavier weight won't. And then one other good thing about the heavier weight swim jig, it makes you uh, retrieve faster, which can a lot of times trigger the fish. More often than not, by the way, you can trigger fish with much faster retrieves than you think you can. And using a heavier weight swim jig will force you to try that. Let's, in fact, let's do that right now over this grass. Let's see if there's anything up in this grass here. And you see, even with that three, yep, yep, see that? He came out of there, I just missed him. That, that heavier um, jig cast well, one, and two, it really goes through the stuff. But it keeps your speed keeps your speed up and then I can drop it so you're I'm fishing this spot in front of me here like this and I want to bring it through the cover and then kill it see I can do that and because of the extra weight it'll drop nice for me to be a school of them right here folks I've caught several in this one area so I'm gonna lock onto this spot GPS with spot lock and see if I fish this whole area in here and see if I can find another school of fish yeah it's so much fun to catch these fish in that pre-spawn stage because you catch them they're not bedding they're but they're so aggressive they're much more aggressive than they are on the bedding side of things and you know, you're not, arguably you're not messing with them while they're trying to defend nests and all that kind of stuff. And you're just having a blast because they're so competitive. Okay, you catch a bass, check your line, check your weed guard. Everything looks good. Check your grub. And then you go back and you catch another one. Yep. Just like I'm anchored in walleye fishing. Yeah. Just a gas doing this, I'm telling you. Just a gas. Yes, sirree. All right.
there's a good one there. Yeah, there you go, my friends. Black bottom bay bass swim jigging. So big small mouse we've caught and big large mouse. Look at that large mouse. Okay. Oh. Look at that large mouse. That is a beauty. Oh yeah. What do you think? That's what I'm after. That's what I'm after right there. And you look at that. Look at that jig. Took it down big time, huh? That's as good as it gets, my friends. So, early in the season, after the sun's been out all day, go back in these, these black bottom trashy bays with lily pads and all kinds of weedy garbage and stuff in them. And you can hear the peeper frogs in them. And get in there and 20 pound, at least 20 to 30 pound braid. Get yourself some of those, those uh, dirty jig swim jigs there. And uh, hey, you're gonna catch yourself a monster. Thank you.